Hi boys and girls. In today's class, we'll learn how to construct a square when the length of one side is given to us. For example, look at this question here. The question says, construct a square of side 5.5 centimeters. Now, at first glance, looks like very little information. But then, is it really very little information? Let's have a look again. It says a square. Now, as soon as you hear the word square, you know so much about a square. You know that in a square, all sides are equal to each other. Plus, all angles of a square is 90 degree. Each angle is 90 degree. So, that's a lot of information, isn't it? Let's just draw a rough diagram before we discuss how to go about the construction. Now, let me, I've named the square as ABCD. Now, the question says, the side measure is 5.5 centimeter. That means, each of the sides measures 5.5 because all sides of a square are equal to each other. Apart from that, each angle is 90 degree. Now it becomes very simple, isn't it? So, we will first construct the base that is AB. We will start with AB. We will take AB as 5.5 centimeters and then to get, the, get to the point C, we can construct a perpendicular ray at B and then cut it off with an arc of 5.5 cm so that we have C. Now we have A, B and C. Now it's very easy to locate D. Why? Because D is at a distance of 5.5 from A and at a distance of 5.5 from C. So basically two arcs from one from A, one from C measuring 5.5 cm. Wherever the arcs meet will be the point D. So, we will start with AB, then go to point C, then try to locate D. Let's do the construction. As we construct one step after the other, it's going to be more clear. So, to start, we will construct AB. AB is 5.5. Let's quickly do AB. So this is AB, let me name it and then I will first construct 90 degree at the point B. So we now construct 90 degree at B. Placing the needle at B and an arc, next an arc here, this is 60 and this is another 60, okay. We have, we want the complete 60, but the second 60, we want to half it or bisect it. I'll measure, I'll increase the angle and an arc from this point, another arc from this point. Why these two points? Because this here to here is the second 60, which needed to be bisected. So now I have 60 plus half of 60, that is 30. So complete 90 degree is ready now. So this is the point and this angle here is 90 constructed. Let me name this ray as, okay, let me just, I don't know how much will 5.5 be. So I'll name this ray as ray Bx, okay. But I do not need the whole of Bx. Now where is C? C is at a distance of 5.5 on the perpendicular line from B. So let me locate C. So, I am going to measure 5.5. I need not do it again on the ruler. I know this is 5.5. This will be easier. So, I am placing it the compass here and here. this is 5.5 and I know it is going to be same. So, I will just cut an arc measure of 5.5 and we are done. Be very careful. See this is 5.5 and this is 5.5 and this is my 5.5. It has to be exact. Now, this point here is, I am not disturbing, I will be needing 5.5 again. So, this point here is C. Now, why do I need 5.5 again is, to find D, all we need to do is cut an arc of 5.5 measure from A and do the same thing from C. Because D is at a distance of 5.5 from A and also at a distance of 5.5 from C, as simple as that. So, the same 5.5 measure I will place at C 
cut an arc move the compass now place at a and cut another arc so this point here is my point d all we need to do is name the point and join it to get the square a b c d i'll first join c to d this is my required square a b c d very simple let's have a quick look of what we did okay we started with the base we started by drawing a b as 5.5 cm first and then at the point b we drew a perpendicular so we drew ray b x such that the ray b x is perpendicular to the base a b and then to locate c c is at a distance of 5.5 because c b is 5.5 so with the center as b we cut an arc of 5.5 measure and we named that point as c next we to locate d we took a first a as the center cut an arc of measure 5.5 then by taking c as the center cut another arc of 5.5 measure and the point where the arcs met we have named that as d we joined da and dc so that we now have the complete square that is abcd which is what the question asked us for 